personally, I just love glass. You know, I love color and shapes and structure and the way that those communicate to you visually. And I'd like to see my, my development and my, my evolution as an artist. My name is Sander, and my last name is Blondel. I'm from Belgium. I am deaf. I was born deaf. I grew up in a primarily hearing family. My father was hearing, mother was hearing, brother who's hearing, then it was me and then another sibling who was hearing, and then finally one who was deaf and mentally retarded. My father was a stained glass artist and also head of a school for fine arts in Belgium. My brother, oldest brother, who has since passed away, was also a stained glass artist and also a teacher of stained glass in the school where my dad worked. I started at five years old. My father wanted me to help him in his studio. So I would do some cleaning, I would sort glass pieces, kind of looked like a puzzle. So I would sort all the glass pieces to help him out. Then when I was seven or eight, I learned how to start to paint and 10 and 11, 12 years old, I started working with the lead. And then after I was 13, I started creating the actual works. And on school breaks, as I was growing up, my dad would travel often to different countries and we would visit different museums, um, Paris, Amsterdam, Germany. He always brought the children with him. We would see a lot of fine arts, paintings, and glass, and my father would explain to us what the works were about. I believe that, that glass can express itself in so many different ways. It can be architecture, it could be art. You have the colors, you have the shapes. There's so many possibilities of expressing a culture. My primary work is in color. You know, that's where I find my way. Everyone has their own way of doing things. First, what I do is the sketch. Show that to, in this case, the Vice President, Alan Hurwitz, of NTID. He then gives it a look over, gives us his review. I'll start out with uh, making paper, a full size layout of it. And this piece of paper corresponds to the sketch. Then this cutout becomes a template that I can use to put over the glass and trace out the design. And I have this shape, which you can see corresponds exactly to the template. Let me show you how I trace on the template. And you make a few little taps here and what's very interesting, my father taught me this. Remember, he was a glass artist, and I was born deaf. My father would say, you have to listen for, the, for it to break, but I, I can't hear it. My father said, oh, we have other ways, other possibilities. So you can watch, and you can see that little line right there. 
And as you tap it, you can see that line up here. That means that it's ready to go. See, there's no line on this side where I haven't tapped it. Now watch. So there are all kinds of possibilities. You can make curves. And again, watch for this line. See when I tap it, how that becomes more pronounced? Then you know that it's broken all the way through. Now, once you've created the shape and you've made sure that it lines up absolutely perfectly, then you can start to paint the glass. This is a solution with, mixed with vinegar. There's a powder that's mixed with vinegar. It looks just like a ceramic glaze, very similar idea. Then after this dries, then you take it to the kiln and fire it. Because this won't stay as it is right now. You can wipe it right off. But once it's fired, like this one has been, then this would last for a thousand years. The title of this is Education. I made this in 1997. The former vice president, Dr. Davila, asked me to create this work. He wanted me to create something that would symbolize education. So we did that through the use of these colors. I also wanted to use different shapes and spheres to create a universe. I wanted to have these shapes to show, uh, at one, the logo of NTID. Adjacent to that, we would have all these different colors, the red, the yellow, the blue, that would represent the university levels. And we would also use astronomical symbols, symbols from astronomy, to show uh, perspective and we would show curved shapes to give it a sense of space. We have a man and a woman here. And then in that middle sphere shape, where I've painted in the, the little circular shapes on it, that was done over in the glass department at RIT.